Thank you. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Thank you. Just as I want to dance, I want to sing, I want to smile. Where will I start this? I should start from smiling. <laughs> you see, it's so genuine. You say I should start from smiling. <laughs> what next again? Dance. That should be the last. But if I if I dance, I will not be able to sing. Okay, which song do you want me to sing? Okay. That, that's Pekekere. You, you tell me the meaning. I was listening to that. Pekekere, 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 Pekekere. Good morning, church. Wow. Uh, it's necessary to, to warm me up. And uh, a lot of things we might have eaten before coming here. We have, uh, when I was going, I saw a gentleman who sit with uh, this uh, Amala. I can't believe it this morning. I was, it was just eating this Amala with uh, this uh, green vegetable. <sighs> What does it mean? I said, Uncle, your colleagues are dancing. You are eating a mad laugh. He said, Ah. I said, Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. The one you are eating, he's all right, it's all right. You sit down and finish your food. And I know many of you have eaten a mala. So to eat Amala, you need to burn the energy, waste the energy. So that pekekere, 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 I know it would do a lot. It would, it would do a lot, I know. Look, look, look around your neighbor, look at your neighbor. Do you see anyone sleeping? No. Uh, hey, that is the work of pekekere, pekekere. <laughs> that is the work of pekekere, 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 pekekere. Hallelujah. Yes, I. <clears throat> last week we talked about the same. We trying to we, we, we try to run, but uh, we are still just a baby before gospel of Christ. Baby, uh, like King King Agati, a nursery. Because when you see what is happening, it's like people are ignorant of things of the spirit. You see them talking about the spirit, talking about the things of the spirit, but they don't know what they are talking about. The case of Bible is not like that. We have taken Bible as literature. You know, literature is, is a letter. It's a letter. Some say it's a, it's a scripture. I mean, your own scripture seems not to be inspired. And the one file that make the word of God unique is the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Dwelling of the Holy Spirit make it so unique. But we are taking it as just, you know, a, 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 a scripture can just be a letter if it's not inspired by the Spirit. So, what are you reading? Which one is your Bible? The Bible you consider as letter 
how they want inspired by the Spirit. That is the question you need to ask yourself. You know, the Bible demands the state of our hearts before reading it. Are you, are you there? The Bible demands the state of our heart before reading. It's not like book. All, 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 all sort of other book. It's the, it seems the Bible, the book that demands the state of your heart. You cannot hold grudge and pick the Bible and begin to read. And when you are disturbed in your heart and you are picking the Bible to read, you know, open the Bible and read. You are hearing God talk. You cannot hear from God. It's not possible. It's when you are disturbed. And you are picking a reading. It's not a literature. It's not a history. It's not novels. Literature may not demand the state of your heart. You may be disturbed and read the literature. You may be crying read the literature. You may hold your friend and read the literature. Unforgiveness, you read the literature. Hatred. But the Bible is the scripture inspired by the Spirit. The mind, the state of your heart. The question, what is the state of your heart? Tell your neighbor, what is the state of your heart? While reading the Bible. Ask your neighbor. I can hear you. What is the state of your heart? Why read the Bible? Why carry the Bible? What is the state of your heart? The Bible here demands the state of our world, of our heart. Let me take you to the book of just a brief. It's just a brief. The book of Psalm, that's brief. Psalm 66, verse 18. If I, if I had cherished sin, that is, if I have regarded sin in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. If I have cherished sin in my heart, the Lord will not walk. The Lord will not listen. That is, when you have sympathy, you conceal, you keep this pain of the past, unforgiveness, hatred, envy, jealousy, and you are taking Bible, you are open Bible to read. You are not reading the Bible, I know, but you are reading literature. Don't forget, when you open the Bible and read, you are hearing God talk. Tell your number. When you open the Bible and read, you are hearing God talk. Here. 
And uh, now, if God is, if you hear the cross talk, and the book of Psalm 66, 18, and the book of Matthew 5, 8, blessed are the pure in heart, and they shall see what. Will you be able to hear God? You cannot. You will not hear God. If you carry the sin, if you regret sin, if you keep the pain of the power, unforgiveness, hatred, your heart. The Holy Bible demands the state of your heart before read it. I know this is the first time you are hearing this because it's too elementary. This is Kingagati. But these are the things we are bad on, we, we overlook. We want me to talk about Moses uh, in Galilee and whatever. I imagine where our problem coming from. This is where our problem coming from now. We are facing big, the biggest challenge in our life. Ignorance of things of the sea, of the spirit. So the main, if I, I, I have unforgiving spirits, pain of the past, envy, jealousy, I have to get rid of this before I open the Bible. Yes, because open the Bible, read, you hear, you are hearing God's talk. How will you hear from God with envy in your heart? And our heart is the communication point. How will you hear from God with envy, jealousy, pain of the past, unforgiving spirit? You cannot hear from God. You cannot. Because reading the Bible is hearing God's talk. Can you see where our problem coming from? Everyone here, no single one, is out of this. Everyone. Everybody here. Can you see what are we called Christian? Who is Christian then? Nowhere. We are all religious people. We are what? We are religious people. Prayer and Bible reading should always go together. How does how can the prayer and Bible reading go together? That is the question. You need to answer it yourself. Prayer and Bible reading should always go together. This means we must fill our prayer with scripture. That is the meaning. Whatever you want to say in your prayer should come from where? Scripture. Not the one uh, the book. I uh, the name of Jesus, that <laughs> my enemy. Where, 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 where do you get this? What, what you are saying in your prayer? Where, where do you get them? Day by day, you you pick a textbook. You after reading a textbook, you begin to. No, prayer has language. You must speak his language. Prayer and Bible reading should always go together. That is, you must fill your prayer with what? With what? With scripture. Fill it with scripture. What you have read. 
if you want you to be in line with the Holy Ghost, in line with God, you must feed your prayer with scripture. know how to pray, the Holy Ghost help us in our witness. I saw you when you were dancing, which is good thing. Can you begin to dance while you are sitting down? It's possible to dance on the seat. Let us say, dance for the Holy Ghost. Everybody's quiet. Emmanuel. Nobody answer. Okay. Okay. I should speak the language. Your language? Hi. Hi. Mm, okay. Good morning. I don't know what to say. Viva, you are with me? Are you Viva? Why can't you allow me to speak to Viva? I know. Okay, okay, I know I know what to do. I know what to do. Okay, don't worry. Viva, don't worry. If they don't allow me to speak to you, I'll speak to your country, your your heart. Viva, how are you? Uh, are you Viva? What 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 about pa 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 pa? Yes. What are we talking about? We are saying you have not been filling your prayer with scripture. We are saying you have not been doing the right thing. We are saying you are reading the Bible as if you are reading literature. We are saying you are reading the Bible as if you are reading history. This is what we are saying. Great danger. I can see why you are having a nightmare. I can see why you complain how you are doing, how you are feeling. Mm. The question? The, the one fact that make the word of God so unique, so unique, so special is the indwelling of the Holy Ghost. Indwelling of what? Spirits. What? The thought of what? Are from where? It's not from our father. It's not from you. It's not from TB Joshua. The language is from men. But the thought of the Bible are from the Spirit. Tell your neighbor, the thought of the Bible are from the Spirit. And the language is from men. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, what are you saying? Are you saying what the Holy Spirit is saying? If one preaching, if one teaching, if one counseling, if one praying, a 
it must be in line with the Holy Ghost. If not, he is merely saying words. If one preaching, teaching, praying, counseling is not in line with the Holy Ghost, he is merely saying words, talking to the air. Because the thoughts of the Bible are from the Spirit, and the language is from men. That is why you, you will not begin to see me disturbing you with verses of the Bible. I open the book of Luke. Open the book of hmm, it's not, it's just reference, the word that rests from the Spirit. I will not go back to the people and begin to look at what I want to say. What I want to say is from the Spirit, it's not in the paper. Saying, answer me. Am I talking to you? Let me encourage you. You must develop your relationship with the Holy Ghost by reading your Bible daily without grudges. That is, with, with a free spirit, you must read your Bible. With a free spirit, you must read your Bible. To develop your relationship with the Holy Ghost, you must read your Bible with a free spirit. You are reading history. Just history, man. You know those novel James Hadley's and all of that. If the word dominates your mouth. It will dominate your heart. And if the word dominates your heart, it will influence your conduct and your character. So the reason why you have, have not been, I mean, you keep saying, why are this? I'm a Christian. No, no, no. Because it, this way, I have not influenced your character. It's not possible for me. I, 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 I've tried my best. No, I, I don't know why. When you are reading novel, 
Your meeting is free. Your meeting is free. You have to take your Bible. Wow, I like your Bible. Thank you. Because it's very small. <laughs> and it's very neat. <laughs> oh my God, how old is this Bible? <laughs> wow. Reading your Bible. I want to encourage you. You must read your Bible slowly. Slowly. Because it is the wisdom of God. Slowly, attentively, and repeatedly. So, there's no way you, you, you can read something slowly, attentively, and repeatedly, under tension and pressure. It's not possible. When you're under pressure and tension, you know what I uh, mean. Me, you can only do that when you are calm, you, when you are not rough. You must read your Bible slowly, attentively, and repeatedly. And the more you read, the more you will understand about yourself and this God who created you. Tell your neighbor, the more you read slowly, attentively, repeatedly, the more you understand about yourself and this God who created you. Because you don't understand yourself. You don't understand yourself. That's, you don't understand yourself. You, every day you surprise yourself. Every day you astonish yourself. Ah, why? You suddenly wake up in the morning, you saw blood. You suddenly wake up in the morning, you bed wet. You suddenly wake up in the morning, you could not stand up. You suddenly wake up in the morning, you could not open your mouth. You suddenly open your mouth, you say, oh, oh. You suddenly wake up in the bed, they have to carry you from there to the hospital. Suddenly wake up in the morning, you start to, oh, 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 oh. you don't understand yourself. You don't understand yourself. By the time we start now, you say, I have to be power. You say, eh? By the time they finish deliver, you say, ah, I don't know. I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> because you don't understand yourself. See, I don't understand myself. I can't hear you. Again? Again? Can you see? If you don't understand yourself, what will you understand? Try to begin at home. Suddenly you can I can't see again, I can't see again. Eh? What happened? Say, please carry me, carry me, I cannot stand up. Ah. You don't understand. By the time you start prayer now, you say, Kill me, Joshua. Give me, Joshua, we are here to kill you. Eh? You come to my church to kill me. If you know that you are here to kill me, will you come? Because you don't know. Say, I don't understand myself. <laughs> Some people will jump on me and say, oh, I'm sorry, I don't know. It's not, my, it's not me that do that. I say, don't worry, I don't know you don't understand yourself. Say, read your Bible slowly, attentively, repeatedly. The more you read, the more understand about yourself 
And this God who created you, you don't understand yourself? Why will you understand your creator? This time you move to the, the place of fighting like a bitch. You see the bitch, wow. Oh, you say, oh, God is great. God is great. You hear thunder, you say, ah, oh, God is great. Wow, you say, oh, God is great. You don't understand yourself. You don't know? Whether you just live by imagination, you don't know whether you see tomorrow, you don't know. You have seen many of your friends, your colleagues, many people when you visit their funeral, the story. Oh my gosh. If they know they will die, they will have made proper arrangement. Someone will say, hello, we'll see tomorrow. The next thing you learn is in the grave. forget our lives are static motionless stagnant you don't know you go you come by you don't know what is wrong but remember no state of being is as rewarding as living in tune with God. No state of being. That's why people like me can be here today. You know many effort we have made to destroy this ministry. You know many effort we have made to silence this ministry. But J.O.D. refused. Tell your neighbor, no state of being is as rewarding as living in tune with God. just need to discover who you are and your real value. You don't know your value. Suddenly you, you need for someone to pray for you, whereas the person that is praying for you, you are better than him. And he said, in Jesus' name, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. I bless you. I bless you. And you don't know you are supposed to be the one to pray for him. My God, are you with them? Are you with me? Yeah. You suddenly, because you, you are just like that, you don't know about yourself. You just point on your knee. Oh God, pray for me. Oh God will not say, Jesus Christ. Whereas you are supposed to pray for this oh God, not oh God to pray for you, but because you don't know whom you are and your real value. Many are on the street. Many that are supposed to be in the palace, they are on the street. The king and the head and the leader, many are on the street that are supposed to be in the palace. Many are doing someone else's job. Many marry someone else's wife, someone else's husband. Discover whom you are and your real value. Tell your neighbor. I can hear you. Again. When you find yourself 
tired and you don't know what to do, you are not turned to a copy. Suddenly you look at someone, oh, I like this attire, you wear it. I like this business, you abandon your business. I like going to this country, you abandon going to the country you are going before. This is just... Get interested in his plan. Get interested in God's plan. There are many of us are here now, I know some of our members for many years, 30 years, they don't have any assignment doing this church. They are only to come on Sunday and worship. They believe so much in their dirty money. When it's dirty, where did you get the money? Out of the money you are bringing, where did you get it? Then, you think that money can pay way for you? No. You see your old woman, our elderly woman, clean the shop, clean the seat for you. And you have that God to be coming, and they will clean the shop. When you finish service, they will be the one to clean the bench. Get interested in his work plan, in his projects. Finish the survey, you eat, you drop it on the floor, all sort of things. Immediately, you leave some old women and old men. You believe they are dancing to be doing that. House of God, they'll come and clean the bench for you. opinion of yourself and of others very important but you don't know what is God's opinion about you what is God's opinion of you no you cannot know God's opinion of others you cannot know God's opinion about me this is why you live here you are now going to tell hey, this is what happened this is what man said you need someone to confirm who is TB to to you this is why we are being deceived Someone need to tell you, yeah, it's a man of God. The message is good. Ah, the hand is shaking. I don't understand that one. No state of being is as rewarding as living in tune with God. Because our lives are start, starting. You go this way, there are many millionaires yesterday, but today they have nothing, they are here. And there are many poor yesterday, but today they are rich. There are many blue heads yesterday, but today they are sick. Our lives are starting. Lightless, unpredictable. This is not the promise of God. They are new every morning. New every morning. Take you back once again. Get interested in his plan. What is God's plan? What is God's project? Are you involved? You are below, you are involved in many projects you are doing. Which, which one is God's project? Which of this project you are involved? Is God project?
in your ministry, wherever you are worship, live in church, find a day, one day in your, in your week, in, in a week, and belong, say, you, I want to humble, you're a big man over there, but come and join the sanitation, people clean the seat, to tell the Lord that here I am, tell me, change me. I want to learn in your faith. I want to sit in your faith. In your ministry. If you are high over there, calm down. Look at where you are sitting now today. Look at the person you are sitting with, you don't know whether he's millionaire or he's average or what. But you are not mine, you just look for the seat. But outside there, you are mine. You want to know where you sit, where your class sit, your status sit. But here, you can see everybody's just looking for a seat. Whether it's rich or my housemate or cleaner or gardener, you don't mind. You just want to see it, listen to the word of God. This is the way it should be. Then when you are, want to work in the house of God too, don't look for a job for your status. When the door is open, everybody wants to sit down. You don't want to know who sits beside you. But you'll be very surprised that the person beside you is your guide now. Out there. It's your guide now. It's your housemate. It's your driver out there. Why should this should be? But out there, you sit with your level, your status, your class. That is the kingdom of God for you. I want to leave you here, we continue. Don't forget the word of God. It's not literature. When you are reading the word of God, you are reading the Holy Spirit, not history. When you are reading the Bible, you are reading the Holy Ghost. It demands the state of your mind, the state of your heart. Your, the state of your heart must be at best to read. Because open the Bible and read, you are hearing God talk. We are looking for healing. We are looking for peace of heart. But the word of God is a tool in the hands of the Holy Ghost to give you peace. The word of God is, is a tool, tool in the hands of the Holy Ghost to give you healing. A tool to give you deliverance and salvation. The word of God is a tool in the hands of the Holy Ghost.
his time you must work with his project work with God's project get interested in his plan to discover whom you are and your real value start your ministry where you are watching don't leave it it's, it's your second home take it to your home you wake up in the morning, you clean your floor, you clean your car, you clean your window. You have people doing that for you. But in the house of God, in a week, you must find a day. Join people. Clean the floor. Take care of the church premises. Don't leave this for money. Money, its journey is far. We don't know where it's coming from. Money. be seated. You'll be ready to answer my question. Two minutes. How have you been reading your Bible in the past? Can somebody answer me how you have been reading your Bible in the past? Have you been reading your Bible in the past? Thank you, Take it, take it off. Yeah. Thank you, man of God. Yeah. Thank you, man of God. Before understanding your teachings, long time ago, I was reading my Bible without looking to understand God's heart to have a best understanding of God's heart. And I have come to understand that if I want to do so, the first step is to repent and have a pure heart. The second step is now, after repentance, to, um, to, to, to be in a humility, to be humble. Because when I am humble, then I can better be in the presence of God, which means uh, to remain humble. If I'm not humble, that it is not nothing important. The, 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 the third, uh, the third part is to be sincere with God. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Clap, clap for him. Thank, thank you. Well, you have the opportunity to preach the word of God. Thank you. You, 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 you are just preaching the word of God, not even trying to answer my question straight. Yeah. Glad for him. Glad for him. Thank you, man of God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Can somebody tell us what are you going to make with this message? What are you making with this message from today? From now on. From now on, I will, I will read my Bible slowly, attentively, repeatedly, and I will be in tune with God's word. How will you be in tune with God? I will, will, don't, I will not hold grudges 
I will not hold offense, no envy of anybody in life. Thank you. I you listen be, to that? I will be pure in my heart. That is, they, they read the Bible with forgiveness. Tell your neighbor. I can hear you. Again? Again? Read the Bible with forgiveness. So the, the reading of the Bible, the mind for that. The mind for the state of your heart. The mind for a free spirit. Thank you, clap for him, thank you. Any other? Come on. Thank you, man of God. I must be honest, before now, I have not been reading the Bible in accordance with the teachings of today. The teachings of today has enlightened me. Before now, there are certain things I have learned today that I must apply in the process of reading the Bible so that I can receive that pure communication with God. Because reading the Bible is communication with God and in line with his word, as you said, it will make us get inspiration from God to do his work. Clap for him, clap for him, thank you. Thank you very much, thank you. Thank you, sir, thank you. Thank you, uh -huh. you have, okay, let's start from there. I think we have found Satu there. So, uh, where is our mom, where is our, our, uh-huh. Yeah, thank you. Before the message, um, honestly, let me confess, um, in the past, because I wanted to cover more pages. For instance, if I take the book of Esther, I want to read all. So I read just as I read other books. But for the message this morning, I will take my time and read um, slowly, attentively, and repeatedly. And the second lesson is in my church, I don't used to work in the church. But for this message, Clap I will visit Clap my church him. and work in the church. Yes, I'm happy Thank you. You mentioned that. Come on. You don't need to walk. Okay, now you have decided to, to walk, huh? To yes. find that assignment God wants you to do in the church. Yes, please. Okay, how do you approach this? I, I used to occupy myself with the work I do, so, but for now, the message I heard this morning, I will make time within say, the week. Say, how, how will you approach this? In what way will you approach the job, the what you want to do in the church? I will now sit and restructure my time and um, take a day within who, the week. Who owe your time? God. You want to rest your time with God? No, please. This is what you are saying. And I'm asking you, how will you approach this? I, I will approach it by taking a day to visit the church and get involved in any work which is going on. Don't go and meet your leader, your pastor, the founder that I want to work in the church. That is pride. Your leader, your pastor should not choose what to do for you. You know where your shortcoming, you know your weakness. And the weakness of everyone here is pride. We need to humble ourselves. We are too proud, that is why we believe so much in money. Money answering everything. That is the voice of pride. So God and John, people in the church, work in where humility can come where you can be humble, okay? Amen. So that's the area you should look into, thank okay? You. Thank you, okay, thank you. Thank you so much.
Do you listen to that? Pride is, the, is our problem. Pride is our problem. That is why we believe so much in money. Tell your neighbor, pride is our problem. That is why we believe what? Money. There is nothing money cannot do to you for you. You believe money can stop you from coming to church. If money wants you to come to church, you will come. If money does not want you to come, you will not come. If money wants you to forsake, you will forsake. If money wants you to be happy, you are happy. Wherever money asks you to go, you go. When you speak, one can hear the voice of money. When you walk, one can see the traces of money. Even your dress. So money, money. That is why we, we belittle the, 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 our ministry. You believe, ah, they need money. Ah, they need money. Let it be their tight. Let it be their this. Let it be their that. Need money for what? That. opportunity and access to know more about your ministry when you become part of the I mean worker start working you don't go and meet your general overseer that I want to work what do you want him to say there are many departments in your ministry hmm? it's not spirit that clean the floor and it is not the same spirit that will pick the nylon. The look at, come on, camera, please come, come forward. Come on, camera, the other, under the the, the, the stood. Can you see the, the gallon, everything? Thousand of gallon, thousand of nylon, thousand of it. Someone will move around to pick it. Huh? Huh? A lot. Continue the camera around. You see a lot. And show, show, say, huh. Not only one. Move around, move around. Let's give you two minutes. What you can see? All this have been abandoned. By the time we say the grade, they abandon everything. Are you giving them to drink it? Or you are giving them to go and sell them? Just one day. So thank you, brother. Thank you. Any, any other? Okay. Come on. The ministry, I mean, the church is a family. I think we talk about next week. Church ministry of God is a family. That is why in in the olden day. 99% of ministry are called family church, family church, family church. But today, of course, this is the case. You clean your window at home, but someone will clean the window in your church. You sweep the floor in your home, in your church. Someone will flip the floor. Get interested in his work, in his in his plan. Thank you, man of God. Mm -hmm. What I've learned today is that uh, I should let the word dominate my heart. Mm -hmm. And when it dominates my heart, it will dominate my mouth and it will influence my character. Mm -hmm. So therefore, um, I how, should... How would the word dominate your heart? Uh, through meditation, 
through reading the Bible and continuous meditation, Thank it you. will dominate my heart. And it must be read with forgiveness. Yes. With a free spirit. And the same, the word you are reading, you must also use in your prayer. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank God bless you. Okay, give it to mommy here. Emmanuel. According to the teachings of the prophet this morning, I learned that we have to read our Bible slowly, repeatedly, and attentively. attentively. And that, it, that was a thing I was not doing. I read my Bible when I want to. And I don't pray according to the scripture. I will read from Monday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I finish the Bible before like I'm reading a novel. But for today, I learned that I have to read it with the three points he described, and then have interest in God's project, which I do not have, because I'm a church goer. I go in the church, I sit down, as soon as they finish, I go back home. Clap for her, clap for her. You listen to that? It's, it's educating us. It says it's a church goer, you go to church, after finish, you go. Uh -huh. Believe that uh, you, you start, they are using, is offering the, what kind of? And many a time they will ask, please, those who know how to do this in church, join us. I will just slip away and go. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, my oh my God, I want to show you what a unknown woman. Tell us more, tell us more. We want to learn. So it's as if the prophet was talking to me directly. Uh -huh. I was touched. So I have to, I have to direct myself, hmm. not waiting for my elders in church to tell me what to do. Let me just join any group I can and join it. The, the group that, that, that will reshape your character, Satma, join it. Yes, daddy. And make sure, don't join group because your state or your, your class are joining the same group. No, no. Okay, make sure you join group of people you don't have anything to do with out there have something to do with them in the church. People you don't have anything to do with. Look for the group they belong and join. I repeat again. People, I, can, I know your class out there, people you don't have anything. I mean, when you are talking, they cannot be there unless you address them. So people that are below you, below your class. Join that group in the church to work. We should not carry the association out there to the church. This is what is affecting the churches today. We take our association from outside, inside. The association we have out in the out there, we take it into the church. When you see the group of people in the church, the same association out there, they are the same class. That will not help us. To, to help our character, we need someone we can learn from. Someone who have what we do not have. Not someone who have what you have. Do you have nothing to learn from them? You are because I am, I am because you are. Where you are weak, I'm strong, and where I'm strong, you are weak. Thank you, thank you, Clap, my thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> we, we may want to talk now. Our uh, mommy has opened the, the chapter. Okay, talk. You, Emmanuel. You, well, hey, you have to open up. Yes. You see my mom. <laughs> my mom opened up everything and really that helped us. To, to need the whole thing. Open yeah. up. Emmanuel, 
Um, I thank God for this opportunity. I've always heard that we must um, pray with forgive, um, forgive others and not hold grudges while praying. But most of the times I have prayed, you know, holding grudges and um, unforgiveness, believing that um, God will show me mercy. But um, I thank God for this um, privilege um, that the man of God has emphasized the need for um, praying only when your spirit is in tune with God. Thank you, man of God. Don't go away, don't go away. I want you to say something that's the area I want you to talk about. Yes, sir. This working in the house of God. So that's the area we need to add. When you are going, you have to take your children along. They must join you. Thank you, sir. So you, they must join you. While you are going, I remember in those days, my blessed memory, my mom. So when it's going on Saturday, when I'm not going to school, it will make sure the food in the afternoon, I eat it in the church. Because it has duty to perform in the church. I must follow. If I, because of food, I have to follow. <laughs> you will carry the food, say, meet me. I used to play football, but I have to cancel the ball. I'll follow because I need to eat. So that many of our, our young people, whatever they need, we need to do whatever we need to do to bring them close. We have to do every proper thing to bring them close. Thank you. Sir. To entice them, to bring them to God. So at a time when they are now mature, they will understand what you are trying to do for them. But at a certain age, we have to use our human angle, human effort, to drag them close to God. Thank you. Like I have said, you make sure you join people that are below you, their department they belong, join that department. Don't go to the church and join your class out there. What they are doing in the church, you want to do. So thank you, Madam. Great. God bless you. Oh, we have not turned this side. Okay, let's see. Let's see. He has been raising hand. I learned that my prayers must be filled with the, what I study from the Bible. Uh, what happens is uh, if I read the Bible by, by that means anytime I pray the Holy Spirit will direct me to a particular part of the Bible because the Bible has a scripture for every circumstance of life and uh, you will not be able to chew it like the way we chew our poems but if you read it with the guidance of the Holy Spirit in every time you are praying about an issue, the Holy Spirit will direct you to a particular scripture that you need to use to sort an issue out. That's what I've studied. And also, the second thing I studied is to be concerned with the project of God. More times, unconsciously, the more you concern yourself with the project of God, God also concerns himself with your own project. Thank you. You mentioned of... Uh demanding the war is demanding so much but what we are demanding is in the bible it's in the bible like what i was saying in those days when i was very little i used to follow my mommy it has to you have to go my mommy is one of the people that sweep the floor of the church clean the seat I remember, I remember any time mommy is clean the seat, sweep the floor, he will, his mouth will be, I don't know what he's saying. I, I realized that mommy will be mommy, mommy talking, I don't know. When I say, mommy, what are you saying? You'll be talking when you are clean. He said, he's telling God that as I'm clean your house, clean my life. <laughs> So it will take, you see, my mom cleaned the floor, 
be in the street, and we'll be going. Sometimes when he talk, 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 I don't know what to say. Now I begin to sing again. Praise. Uh, now I say, Mommy, what do we normally say? Because when I talk to you, you not reply me. You keep talking to yourself. We don't know what you are saying. You say, ah, I'm telling God, as you are, as I'm cleaning this, your house, cleanse my life, clean my future, my career, my children. I think I'm one of the people God has given to me. Yes, he said, as I'm cleaning your house, sweep the floor, clean my, my family, clean my future, clean my children. I said, no. Please, get interested in God's plan. Thank you. It is time to pray. You know you don't have time to pray. You say prayer, prayer, prayer. It is to be part of your way. When you are in the church, whatever you are doing at that moment, you go to pray. Pray, doing it, pray, doing it, pray, doing it, talking to God, pray, do it. Whatever you, you come to your heart to do. God will now enlarge your course. You find yourself becomes so abundant in your dream. So I don't want to, I, 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 because I, I don't want you to, to fight me. Let me face this direction. <laughs> Let's go there. Okay, give it to my brother here. Thank you, man of God. I think this message today is a spirit-filled message for all of us in church. Thank you. I'm guilty of all of it. I go to church with pride. Mm. And I feel putting my dirty money is what is all about worshiping God. my brothers. Clap my brothers. You listen to that? Can you humility? You say, go to church with pride and we put our dirty money and say we are supporting church. If you are supporting your church, whatever church you are belonging, you are supporting your church with your money. What is the position of that church now? Where, where, where? Look at the future of the church all over the world. Man of God, this is a message my pastor have always been talking about. That try to do something in the house of God that will bless you and your family. Hmm. This message, if I have my way, I love it preached in my church on record so that people will know what it means to worship God. Class we shouldn't be brother. churchgoers. Yes, you that? For you doing something in the house of God with all your heart, you are doing it for your generation, your family. I, I told about each of my mom in those days when I was little. I followed my mom. Was like mommy was forcing me with food, but mama will be, mama will be, mama will be mama. later. He will start singing. I said, Mama, he will not answer me. I said, well, What are you saying? Anytime you are playing the bench, sweep the floor, what do you used to say? You always be saying, Mama, I see your mouth moving, moving. He said, ah, What I'm saying, my little one, I said, God should clean my life, clean my children. I'm clean your house, Lord, clean. But today I can see indeed. If you are not going to the church to join, uh, uh, I mean, uh, 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 I mean, I mean, you know, out there, people have uh, a body. You have a classmate. You have your colleague. Don't carry that idea to the church. Go to the church and join those who are not your class. Those who believe, I mean, little, below you, your standard. Where you become a stranger among them. Look stranger because you look different. Go and join to humble you. This is what God wants. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your education. Thank you, man of God. Thank you. You listen to our Buddha. There are many things you can do. Any department. 
say we are supporting our church. What is the position of church today in the world? What is the position of your church? Your money, you are giving with them. What? It's okay. Let's. Okay, come on. Give, give. I'm really touched with today's uh, message. I'm a person that keeps grudges. Before coming this place, I'm, I'm holding a grudge. And with that grudge that I'm holding, would, if I've not had your message, if I read the Bible, I'm just wasting my time. Before coming here, my father slapped me for no reason. And that grudge is in my heart. And I came here. For what you preach now, I have to leave that grudge. I will develop the habit of doing away with the grudge. Hmm. So that this, the indwelling spirit of the Holy Spirit will come to me. If I don't do that, the spirit of God will not come to me. And, and I cannot read the Bible slowly, attentively, and repeatedly. When you are disturbed. Clap for him. Clap so for I'm him. very happy clap for, him. Clap for this message. Clap for him. I have you, to sir. forgive my father. Thank you. Thank you. So sir. I can move forward. You listen to that? You say you want people to do good all the time, and you don't know that this life is two sides, good, bad. You should be expecting bad, good, bad, good. You need more of these challenges to strengthen you, to look proper, to look focused. You need more slap, you need more of heat, you need more of persecution. You have not yet arrived. This is the time you should be expecting persecution. People will embarrass you. That will help you to give yourself to prayer. The more you are embarrassed, the more you give yourself to prayer. I told you last time that our, our trouble maintain our union with God. Help us to maintain our union with God. I'm happy to hear from my father here that he was he just lay slapped. It's good for us, for your strength. But most especially those of us that are strives to get to a certain position, those of us that you need to grow in law, in, in God. I just, if you're expecting this, Which was pertinent. Which was pertinent. You are here today. Yes. Take your time to read and to study the life of T.B. Joshua, my antecedent. When you look at my antecedent, you will see I, know I have more degree in persecution than praise. I think uh, if I say I'm a professor, when it comes to persecution, but I'm just uh, first degree in praise. But I'm not expecting praise. I'm not expecting praise because my reward is over there. (laughs) 
So thank you, thank you. I think uh, I, I'm, I'm happy with this message. When you live here today, no matter the little or big your ministry, some of us you are coming from a very small church ministry. It's cool. It's not the large ministry that determines the strength ministry. The, the number of the ministry, the, the strength of the ministry is not in the large population, the uh, branch, uh, the biggest church in the world. That is not, the strength is not lying there. You can see just two members of a church, a ministry that's more connected to God than the, the biggest church, the largest church. The strength of the ministry is the relationship of the ministry to God. It's not the population, it's not the crowd, it's not the large, it's not the fame, it's not the popularity. It's, that is not the strength of the ministry. Anything can attract the crowd. You know, people today in the world. To, People go by feeling what they see, what they hear. This is what people go by. So please, so if your ministry is little, just a, a few member, that is good for you. Join them, whatever they are clean in the church, help them clean, whatever they are doing, try it. One in a week, once in a week, you find time one day in a week. Don't meet your general overseer. Just meet the department consigned and say, yes, I want to join. With all your heart. That will be the day of your fasting. You can choose that as a day of fasting. When you are going there with fasting and your children too have to follow you. Just like my mommy was calling me all the time. See me today.